Glory be to the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, one true God. Amen. The Evangelion reading for this Sunday is taken from St. Luke chapter 11, verse 33 to 41. No one lights a lamp and puts it in a place where it is hidden or under a bowl. Instead, he puts it on a stand so that those who come in may see the light. Your eye is the lamp of your body. When your eyes are good, your whole body is full of light. But when they are bad, your whole body is full of darkness. See to it that the light within you is not darkness. Therefore, if your whole body is full of light and no part of it is dark, it will be completely lighted as when the light of the lamp shines on you. Do we see this for what it is magnificent and complete, so that it becomes the light and joy of our lives? The Lord Jesus Christ is the light of the world. Jesus says, Therefore be careful, lest the light in you be darkness. In other words, there is much that passes for light through the eye that is not light. There are many bright things in the world that keep us away from the true light of Christ. Just like the city lights keep you away from seeing the stars. Be careful. This is the only imperative in the text. Be careful what you see. Be careful what you regard as bright, attractive and compelling. If it is not Christ, you will be filled with darkness, no matter how bright it seems for a season. Candle seems bright until the sun comes out. They are useless and thrown away. Christ is the glory we were made to see. His light alone will fill us and give the light of life and meaning to every part of our lives. And when that happens, we ourselves will shine and give of the rays of Christ. If then your whole body is full of light, having no part dark, it will be wholly bright as when a lamp with its rays give you light. God gives you this gospel light. Let your eye be sightly fixed on Him. Aim only at pleasing God, then your whole soul will be full of wisdom, holiness and happiness. Lord. Open the eyes of our hearts to see the supreme greatness of your wisdom and power. Make our eyes good, heal our blindness, fill us with all pervading, all exposing, all purifying, all pleasing light of your presence. Amen.